What's up gamers, it's once again your favorite gamer of all time, and I'm bringing you to PAX East 2013 even though you missed it, but with the magic of video editing, you can come with me. Over here is the statue for Firefall, this is like a PC MMO or something, and this is the main floor for PAX East, this is where all the game, all the new gaming is, they got some retro stuff like off to the sides and stuff, but you know right now there's like a little bit of elbow room but right when you get to that white pillar kind of like in the middle of the video it is shoulder to shoulder with people and you're packing like sardines and this is a uh, marvel heroes uh, uh hawkeye and scarlet witch and uh this is an mmo rpg but, uh from marvel i'm not sure if marvel's making it marvel studios or you know another company that's making it for marvel but a lot of fans are digging it here is a uh, skeleton dragon. This is from Neverwinter, and you know their display is really cool. It's kind of like an old bar from England or Ireland or maybe Germany or something like that. And uh, Lord of the Rings, and it was just a really nice display. It kind of like you didn't feel like you were in the convention when you went there. And Sam Fisher was actually kind enough uh, to pose for pictures with his fans. And it's kind of like a conference room for Splinter Cell fans. And this guy is like t uh, telling all the fans like what you're gonna be able to do in the new Splinter Cell game and so on. And it's probably about another hundred people just waiting to get in this conference room. There's about 20 people probably sitting sitting down listening to this guy right now. Now this is a Bluetooth Android control. They have one for uh, Android phones, and they have another one for tablets. And the ones for tablets, those controllers are like Xbox 360 controllers. And there's a kid right here playing on an Android tablet that's hooked up to a HD TV set with HDMI. And your Android tablet kind of like turns into a, like a console. Now this girl, I believe she's from the Batman universe, as you can see she has the scars. This girl is from the Mass Effect universe. And the costumes are just absolutely amazing. Now the Ghostbusters, these guys are from New Hampshire. I love these guys. These guys were a lot of fun to talk to. And uh, Optimus Prime actually gave Bumblebee the day off to come to PAX East. And um, actually, the guy who's in the costume, he comes to PAX all the time. I'm not sure if he goes to PAX Prime, which is the one in Seattle. Um, but they said he comes to this one all the time. And that's an amazing costume that this guy made. You know, I mean, I, I can't, I'm not, uh, I can't do stuff like, like design stuff like this. Uh, but it just blows my mind how creative people are sometimes. And as you can see, the girls love Bumblebee. And I, I think they um, have the hots for Bumblebee because he's a Corvette. Because <laughs> uh, I don't think Bumblebee actually got a lot of girls when he was on a Volkswagen. <laughs> and uh, they're asking for his phone number. <laughs> And this other guy in cosplay, uh, I guess he's like from some sci-fi MMO, um, came up to say hi to Bumblebee. He's going to have his picture taken with Bumblebee. Now this is the creator of Happy Wheels. Happy Wheels is coming up for iOS. And um, a lot of fans are really happy about this. Now if you guys aren't familiar with Happy Wheels, it's huge on you know the internet. It's a web-based game. And Toby Games and Mark uh, Piler, uh, those guys played a lot on YouTube. Now Hawken is a free mech game for the PC. And the graphics in Hawken are absolutely amazing. I wanted that mech that was up there. <laughs> and uh, the helmet right over here is amazing. And as you can see right here, here are some of the, uh, the graphics from the game. So, you know, if you want to play a really good free game, play Hawken. You know, I guess you just spend money maybe if you want to upgrade your mech or something. But the graphics are beautiful. Now, Dungeons Defender 2, a lot of people were lined up to play this game. And as you can see, uh, people are, are just like, you know, really getting into this game. I guess because they're sitting down and they're really focused. Now, the first Dungeons Defender was a great game. It came out for iOS, Android, and PC. Now, remember me, this is also coming out for the Xbox 360 and PS3. And the graphics in this game is just beautiful. This is the game coming out from Capcom, and I love cyberpunk games. 
And um, it's nice to see that the uh, you know the last couple of games we're gonna get for this generation are really gonna be pushing the limits. Now here is an iOS game. I think this might be coming out for the PC, but I'm not quite sure. But the graphics it is beautiful. It's an indie game. Uh, kind of reminds me of kind of a cartoony sci-fi look to it, and it's really interesting. And here's a kind of weird game. It's like this motorcycle, and uh, I guess this is the good motorcycle. And you know, this guy somehow turns into a robot or something with the motorcycle. Kind of reminds me of something from the third Robotech series back in the 80s. Now there was another motorcycle. It's, I don't have it on um, video, but uh, a silver bike, and that's the evil evil motorcycle now this game is really interesting this is one of those games where you play with the elements it's like a 2d game you know you go in the shadows and you come out of the shadows and so on so it's kind of a little bit of a puzzle game and it doesn't seem like it's like really hard but it, it seems like it's really interesting like uh, like you're not gonna be playing a game that's gonna like give you a, a brain tumor or anything like that it looks like a really fun game and it's called contrast I'm dying to play this game now this game right here is a 2D uh, fighter game, and I love the art style in this. And you know, I love like this art style where everything is blue, like the background. The main characters just have the colors that they're supposed to be represented by. And I don't know what you call this art style, but I mean, I know the Pink Panther cartoon kind of used something like this a little bit. I don't want, I'm not saying this looks like the Pink Panther, but I really dig the art style in this. Now this is a uh, Tiny Brains. And there were tons of kids lined up to play this game. It was really interesting that this game was all the way in the back of PAX. And, uh, you know, she's probably one of the programmers or one of the artists on the game. They all wore, like, medical uh, white suits like they were, like, doctors or something. And, uh, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of Pinky and the Brain. And uh, here's Deus Ex. Now, this is the Wii, Wii U version. And uh, Squaresoft has set, uh, said that this is the definitive version of Deus Ex. So if you are a fan of Deus Ex, you definitely want to get the Wii U version. Now this is League of Legends. Uh, I think this is a PC MMO game. And here's one of the characters, you know, he's waving at the camera. <laughs> now the, the displays for this game are absolutely amazing. This guy kind of like Gollum or whatever. And this girl is absolutely beautiful even though this is not a real girl there were hundreds of guys taking her picture now this is Diablo 4 the PS3 and if you look really closely you'll see the X you know the blue X for the PS3 controller on the screen now right over here here is Diablo 3 DLC for the PC and the graphics are really good I mean I was really impressed by the graphics Forget the name of this game, but it is the new uh, card game from Blizzard, and it's linked to the World of Warcraft universe, I believe. Now, DuckTales from Capcom. This is the remastered version of the old classic 8-bit NES version. So, a lot of people love this game. I've never played the original version, uh, but I want to play this for, this one too, and you know, even the old one maybe. You know, maybe Capcom will release it on the uh, on the Wii or something as a virtual game to download or something like that. But uh, a lot of people say that this was the reason to come to PAX. I'm not even joking about that. Now this is uh, Dungeons and Dragons or Dungeons Defender, whatever it is. It's a, a game. It's a beat 'em up. So if you're a fan of like games like Final Fight, X Men the arcade game, or Ninja Turtles the arcade game definitely need to play this game it looks like a lot of fun and I'm gonna wrap up this game I mean this <laughs> this commentary right now um, I only have about another five seconds <laughs> but yeah PAX was a lot of fun guys <laughs>